Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my second playthrough of Thimpleweed Park. Yes, second playthrough because I made my blind let's play of this game over three years ago, the day after the game came out in late March 2017. Why come back to this game? Well, there's a quite a few reasons for it. Uh, one, this is a very, very good adventure game and I just wanted to play it again. But the bigger reasons are two, I want to make uh, my thoughts on video of Thimpleweed Park because it's, it's a game worth talking about. Thimpleweed Park, I would say, is the adventure game that, I guess you could say, rekindled my love and passion towards the genre, and I want to tell you why it's so good. And for that, I need better footage for the video because, back when I first played this, I had only one monitor which didn't, which didn't support 1920 by 1080 resolution, and now I got two of those. Uh, three, I want to check out how easy the casual mode is. I admit, I do regret a little the fact that I didn't, that I first played the game on hard mode. But hey, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make another let's play of Thimpleweed Park at the time. So yeah, we are gonna play on casual mode, so this time, uh, this playthrough should not take very long. And four, a couple of months ago, Terrible Toy Bugs, the developers of the game, released a surprise free DLC called Dolores, a Thimpleweed Park mini adventure, which is all about one of the protagonists, Dolores, of course, I haven't played or watched anyone play it yet, so at least that will be blind. I will play that afterwards. Also, they opened the arcade, which at launch was closed in the game, so there is some new stuff for me in the main game as well. So with that, uh, before we start the game, let's check the options real quick. Uh, watch it video. Toilet paper over. Yes, that's very important. That's checked. Okay. Annoying in-jokes. I'm not quite sure what that means exactly. And Ransom Unbeep DLC. So as you can see, I haven't downloaded or even bought the DLC yet. So basically this DLC uncensors Ransom because he swears like in ev at least once in every sentence. So about 30% of his dialogue is censored. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, but if you buy, the, buy and download the DLC, he's uncensored and you can actually hear the curses and swear words that he says. But as you can, as you can see, I haven't downloaded it yet and I'm not gonna... Um, I, I, and I'm not gonna uh, use use it in this in this playthrough because on, honestly, I I think that ransom is more fun when he's uh, when he's censored. But yeah, and with that, without further ado, let's start a new game. So we are gonna play on casual mode. If you are new to adventure games or you are looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there is so much to do, free tutorial included. That's great. And the hard mode, I played this uh, when the f game first came out. And once you choose a mode, you can't change it without starting a new game. Okay. Well, we go with casual. And tutorial, yes, I know how to, uh, how to play adventure games. There, uh, there we go, there we have the nine different commands, the inventory. We can pick up stuff and interact with objects. And we can uh, select different characters as well later on in the game. 1987. That one just died. Part 1. The Meeting. Ah, oh, this game looks so good! It's all pixel art, but it just looks so damn good to me. Maybe the best looking pixel art game that I have ever played.
I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after <laughs> the long walk out here. Hmm. So we started the game with some uh, uh, German guy. Click, click on open, then click on the gate. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, and we might as well, yeah, talk to Willem. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Have to go. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Yeah, uh, I need some whiskey. Well, you have something in your hands. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? I'm afraid not. Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Okay, someone is dead. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Okay, I guess we just leave him be. I have to go. Sleep well. Yeah, you sleep well. Okay, so we got a to-do list. Every character has one of these. Boris, I'm glad you you have decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the Trestle Trail Bridge. Turn off the light above the Trestle Trail sign so I know you have arrived. And four, meet at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. And we also got, I got a wallet. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. That's a lot of money, especially in, what was the year? It's 1980s, but I forgot the exact year. It is the keycard for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very top secret. And genius. Very top secret. We wouldn't want the Soviet Ru Russians to learn about this I wonder how I can turn thing. off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. And the game is already already telling us to pick up pick up the rock and use that. Well, yeah, might as well since the game is telling us. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Well, let's find out. That's what the game must the game is telling us to do anyway. There we go. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Hmm, good job, you just vandalized that pool light bulb. Okay, now we just go to the sewer entrance all the way over here. Damn, it's a long walk. There we go. Oh. And we were immediately knocked unconscious by someone. None of us were prepared for what we would find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Part 2. The Body So part 1 was basically uh, just an intro. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. 
This is going to be a long night. <laughs> okay, so let's hurry because the body is, like they said, starting to pixelate. Click on the flashing head icon to switch characters. Yes, I know how to do that. So we are starting with Agent Reyes, I think was his name. Detective Antonio Reyes. Antonio Reyes. Agent. It's definitely my badge. Indeed it is. Let's look at the notebook. The body is the body is starting to pixelate. Ray is going to get on my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to. And you also wrote Arrived in Timbleweed Park from Albuquerque by bus. Heading out to look at the body. This is perfect cover. Still walking along the highway. It's a long way from town. Arrived at the body. An agent Ray is here, which is odd. No one should have been assigned to the case. I may have heard of her from rumors around the office. Might pose some problem for me. Remember to call mom tonight. Yeah, let's do that later when we can. And we also got a Polaroid camera. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. That's because she has to film. Agent Ray, or as I like to call her but when I first played the game, Agent Scully, because she reminds me of Agent Scully from the X-Files. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Angela Ray, okay. And what have you written down? Got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid you have to. Arrived at the body. It should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. How did you have the time to write that down? Oh great, some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the Burrow had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Okay, so these two have their own hidden motives uh, as to why they are at Timplewood Park, apparently. And you got a cell phone. The cell phone has no reception. At the moment, okay. And she has the Polaroid film. So let's give this to him. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but before we do that, let's check the body real quick. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Oh, really? Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Uh, okay, so the murderer was dumb enough to leave the key card in, in his pockets. Okay. Uh... Key card for hotel room 502. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. And you wrote something down. Uh, appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. Nothing in his pockets except the hotel key card. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. His suit looks tailored, possibly European design. Most, uh, most likely because he is from Germany. Uh, judging from the accent. Could be Austrian too. And you wrote down the same thing, I presume? Yes, you did. Okay, and now let's use the film with the camera. And then we take, take the photo of the body. Smile! There we go. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Mm hmm Dead ringer for the body. Oh. Oh, what? Dead ringer for the body. Oh. Okay, I didn't... I didn't get it. But before we do that, let's check the entrance to the sewers real, real quick here. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like that we can enter the sewers right away, because in the... in the hard mode, uh, the, this tree is in the way, so we have to uh, cut it in half with a chainsaw. But apparently we don't need to worry about that. On casual mode, okay? So let's just... Let's just go to town. We should go find the sheriff. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that was my plan. Although I think I missed something. Oh yes, this... Uh, pick up. And that's the whiskey bottle that Willie had. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. Okay, so we got that. And open the gate. 
and let's go to the highway. Yes, we know how to play the game. Thank you, game. Okay, some key bindings. Okay, and <gasps> speck of dust. Our first speck of dust, folks. Fuck yes, pick it up. I don't know how many specks of dust there will be in this game, or if something cool will happen if we manage to uh, pick up all of them. But let's keep our eyes open for more specks of dust anyway. And also tuna can. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, but good parts. Still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Mm -hmm. It's my speck of dust. Yeah, yes, your speck of dust. Your speck of dust and no one else's. Oh, Atari cartridge. It's the E.T. game for the 2600. Ah, E.T. game. The terrible one. I, rem I remember the uh, review, Angry Video Game Nerd, and gave of the, of the Atari cartridge. And actually, no, it wasn't an episode. It was a... It was... It was the Angry, Angry Video Game Nerd film, the movie. That was the one about the Ata about the ET Atari game. If I'm if I'm if I remember correctly, oh, mm-hmm. And we got a circus flyer. It's a circus flyer with a crazy-looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Oh yes, it is because it never comes off. And we are we are about to find out later why. Signals are very strong tonight. Why, hello, Pitchens. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yeah, you told us that already. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Okay, if you say so. You almost ran over a federal agent. This is really odd. Should I save my game? Yeah, that's a good question. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Well, that's great. You can still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. Oh, yes, they of course. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Hmm, okay, well, let's keep that in mind. You almost ran over us. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It it's does. It's in the cadet training manual. Uh -huh. You don't know anything about a dead body. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Well, if you say so. So why are you dressed like a giant pigeon anyway? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! So it says brothers, but you are sisters. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Oh, I'm not sure if I should be worried now. But it was nice chatting you anyway. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Mm -hmm. Click, click, click. Ooh. Click, click, click. Ooh. Beep. Eek. Eek. And that's how they communicate. Squeak. Like pigeons, Beep. I guess. Okay. Beep. Well, let's leave them Beep. to that. Click, click. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. And I can't open it, can I? No need. The perps are outside. Okay. Beep. Well, let, well, let us Squeak. continue our way back to town. Mm, hold the left mouse button down to follow the cursor. Yeah, I like this. Sure. Uh, plastic rings. From a six pack. You're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. How about you just 
you know, put them, uh, put them, in, put them in in a trash bin. How about that? Instead of you know tossing it away to the uh, to the side road. That's just me. Maybe that's maybe that's too much common sense for some people to handle, but that's what I would do anyway. Okay, so now to town. Uh, don't worry, Agent uh, Ray will follow us. Hmm, someone's been watching us. I wonder who that is. Wait up, eager beaver. Yeah, yeah. Now let's take control I of I need to stay her focused and now. solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Okay, let's continue with Agent Ray for now. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Well, apparently they're not doing that anymore. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Okay. Mm, prestige. Uh... Real something. Right, right the boom. <laughs> right the bust. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Mm -hmm. A hint line flyer. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting because I... I completely missed these in my first playthrough. Well, at least... Or at least I think I missed them. Because I don't remember these flyers at all. So... So so if we get stuck in the game, we can... Uh, we, we, we can call the Hintron 3000. Okay, so can we... There is one, two, three, four, five coupons here. So can we call it five times? Or more, if, if we find more of this, of course. Well, I highly doubt that I'm gonna use the Hintron, because we are playing on casual, after all. But on harder difficulties, this would have been very, very handy to have. Maybe I should replay the hard mode later, and see if I can call the Hintron there as well, and see that how handy it is. But for casual, I don't think that there will be any need for that. Or maybe I will call it, just to try it out. Hmm, hi. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Eh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight we are the Feds. Cut the Mayberry crap. We are taking over this case. You know, very aggressive there. How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? I'm Agent Ray and this is uh, my partner. Know any place that serves good pie? Mm, that's a quite random question. Mm. Let's ask this at first. Know any place that serves good pie? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. And why Botulism. is that? Botulism. Botulism, oh. Know any place that serves good meatloaf? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Ooh, E. coli. E. coli, don't know what that is. Know any place that serves good hamburgers? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Plague! Plague, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But if but if, if, if there's only one diner in this town and no one and no one goes to eat there, how the hell is that diner still in business? Anyway. Well, cut the Mayberry crap. Cut the Mayberry crap. We're taking over this case. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. It's, it's good to see that the game is self-aware. TV. 
The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? I'm afraid we are not, right? Hey, we got a city, city seal. And this father, water fountain. The inscription says, Pillowtronics, the brain of our city. Now they must be very proud of the pillow factory. Yes, yes. Take it all in, and uh, uh, but I think that's enough. Just keeping my eyes open for more specks of dust. Okay, well let's go to the coroner's office. Oh hi. Howdy who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Okay, and it looks like someone else died here recently. Judging from this feed. But anyway, tell us about Bloodtron 3000. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno. The Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Mm hmm. And lastly, Facetron. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The face areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay, aren't you the sheriff though? Aren't you the sheriff areno? Oh my no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. Oh, really? But we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. Oh, uh, yeah, tell You'll me You'll never it. hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Yeah, what a, really, what, a, what a relief to hear. Okay, so did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Mm -hmm. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Is that so? Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Oh, a pillow are the feds, genius. Uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. CompuServe chat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that used to be a real thing back in the 80s or not. Okay, I guess we are done with that. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. 
This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. Mm -hmm. I okay. have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. Okay. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. <laughs> Very specific, 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk to these computers and then look around some more stuff, like this speck of dust here. Uh, pick it up. Two specks of dust already. Nice. So let's talk to... Yeah, let's start with Plotron. Describe your primary function. The primary function of the Plotron 3000 trademark patent pending is to analyze the blood sample and the bloody object to assure arrest of the suspect. Okay, how do I take a blood sample? Procure swab or other absorbent material and tap some blood on it. And how do I analyze the blood sample? Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I... I mean the blood drawn 3000. <laughs> Trademark will confirm a positive match. Become a little self-aware there, are we? And, uh... What's 2 plus 2? Two? 4. Okay, that was too easy. How about five? How about uh, what's five thousand nine hundred and thirty-three times five thousand five hundred and forty-six? Thirty-two million nine hundred and twenty-one thousand and fifty-six. Hmm. Okay, I take your word for it. What's the square root of sixty-seven? Eight point one eight five three five two seven seven two. What's the last last digit of P? I thought that P was infinite. Calculate Ah, okay, so it has an end. Ah, oh, okay, never mind then. Never mind. Uh, okay, we are done with you. What, what, what have you written down? Ray is to do list. Uh, find a murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon. Get finger, uh, get finger Tron report. Find ID for the victim in the hotel, possibly. Get face Tron report. Take a blood swap from the body. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get blood Tron report. Put three reports in a restaurant. Okay. And I take that you have the same stuff here. Mm, yes, you have. Okay. Then, then let's move on to finger Tron. Primary function. The primary function of the Fingertron 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the Arrestron 3000 trademark. Patent pending. Mm -hmm. how, do I get, how do I take a fingerprint? Using official government issue fingerprint tape. Place it on an object with fingerprints, and the fingerprint will be transferred. Mm -hmm. And where do I find a registry of known criminals? It's around here somewhere. Oh. I'm not going <laughs> to solve this whole crime for you. Well, You're okay. Jeez. The kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? No, I'm not. I don't use a hint guide. I think I used it like once, maybe twice, when I played the game for the first time on hard mode. But other than that, no, I don't. I don't use a hint guide. How dare you, sir? How very much dare you? Okay, so... Have I asked all of this? Uh, well, do you know the three laws of robotics? Yes. Well, what are they? One, a robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Mm -hmm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, party like it's 1999. What? Party like it's 1999. I don't think that. I don't think that's one of them. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough, it should be. Okay, I think we are done with you then. And then, lastly, let's talk to Facetron. Your primary function. The primary function of the Phase 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. No, then why, why do I get a photograph of a dead body while well, we actually have one already, don't we? Procure an official law enforcement camera, then do use camera with dead body. Yeah, we have already done that. What kind of official identification do I need from the victim? The Phase 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Like a driver's license, passport, pilot's license, burger shack loyalty card? Yeah. Sure, whatever. Hmm, well, sure, whatever. Everything goes then. So, how far from Duluth, Minnesota to Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania? 1,070 miles. Okay. How many miles from the Earth to the Sun? The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93,000 miles. I don't know how much that is in uh, kilometers, but it's a, but it's a pretty damn long way, I would say. What about at the perihelion? What about the uphelion? Not sure what what either of these two things mean. At the most distant point of its orbit, the Earth is 94.5 million miles from the Sun. Okay. Uh, how many miles to the nearest galaxy? The Andromeda galaxy is around 2 million light years away. Oh, Andromeda. I remember uh, some, some years ago, uh, BioWare released Mass Effect Andromeda. Was it very good from, from, from what I have heard and seen? But, yeah. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh, hey, I actually got it right the first first try without stuttering or anything. I'm impressed by myself. Impressed with myself, even. Seriously, you can yes. play too many adventure games? No, you can't play too many adventure games. That's a lie. Okay, I think we're done with you. And before we leave here, let's... Check and let's check if, if there's anything that we can pick up. Lots of medical books there. Nothing that we need, though. Oh, not give. Uh, pick up. I don't want to pick that up. Okay. What else do we have here? Diagram. Chewy caramel center. Ugh. Chewy caramel center. Nice. Certificate. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. <laughs> Sheriff Crook. Okay. Do we have it's here? empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Something useful. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Okay, so we need the tape here as well. And I do know where the tape is, but we get to that uh, when we get to that eventually. A skeleton. It's a medical skeleton. Smells awful. Yeah, why it smells awful? I mean, it, it's not like it's an actual skeleton. Maybe it's arrived uh, fresh from from the from a factory or something. I don't know. But okay, let's let's go to sheriff's office. And I believe that she's following us. Hello yes. again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. Oh, he sure did. You're also the coroner, right? You're also the coroner, right? Oh my no! Ha <laughs> ha! No 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 no, Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, mm -hmm. but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. Yeah, very annoying. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Thank God. Anyway. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the uh, restaurant. You, I mean, uh, the coroner said something about the uh, restaurant. Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. 
Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Yes, Chuck that's said so. that computers will soon put us all out of work, <laughs> allowing for a full life of luxury. Okay, and Chuck? Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Chuck who? Yeah, Chuck who? Chuck who? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Hmm. Oh, yes, the Looks clown. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay. We try We try our best. Uh, but before we do that, let's search this room as well. But first, uh, let's talk to the restaurant 3000 as well. Mm, looks pretty official. Anything coming out of this can be used to arrest someone. Oh, I forgot to talk to it. There we go. What is the meaning of life? Describe your prim primary function. The arrest primary thousand trademark as primary function is to take reports from the blood primary thousand trademark, the finger primary thousand trademark, and the face primary thousand trademark, and Issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. Obviously guilty, huh? Hmm. What happens after the arrest warrant is generated? After the arrest warrant, 3000 trademark generates the arrest warrant. This compact criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective, agent, or law enforcement personnel is done. Right, but what about the due process of the law and a fair fair trial? If they weren't guilty, they wouldn't have been arrested. The arrest trial 3000 trademark is invaluable. Really? Skipping a trial spares the family's pain and suffering and millions in court costs. The arrest trial 3000 trademark is invaluable. The arrest run 3000 trademark. Yeah, we got it. The arrest run 3000 trademark. Core dump in progress, rebooting, loading checkbox 3.4, loading drivers, loading high man dot size, welcome to restaurant 3000, trademark, 64k RAM system 38,911, basic uh, by okay. C, ready. Uh, okay, that happened. Where can I find the other three, th Tron 3000 TM machines? Well, we know what they are, we just talk to them. What happens after the arrest warrant is generated? Oh, well, already asked that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what is the meaning of life? Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. Soren Kierkegaard. Ah, Soren Kierkegaard. Yeah, I know that philosopher. Why is there something rather than nothing? There has to be something. Be they Rundle. Mm, I don't know that one. Do we have free will? Hmm. God is not willing to do everything, and thus take away our free will with that share of glory which belongs to us. Nicole Machiavelli. Mm hmm. Does God exist? If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire. Ah, Voltaire. I know him too. Yeah, I used to study fi uh, philosophy uh, quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. Years ago. How can we know anything? Okay, I, I'm i gonna guess who he's gonna quote now. I think he's gonna quote Socrates. He's, uh, it's gonna say, I, I know only one thing, and that is that I know nothing. 
No. No. Okay. Hmm. Descartes. Descartes. René Descartes. Okay. Can you really experience anything objectively? No man's knowledge here to go beyond his experience. John Locke. Hmm, good old John Locke. Okay, I think we are done with this thing now. Close program. Okay, let's switch characters I at this point. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Be careful, Ra Reyes is right next to you. But let's see if there's anything that we can pick up. Telephone, police drone 3000. Wanted poster. Wanted. Shady Jade and the Sunshine Gang. It doesn't sound very threatening. Sunshine uh, Gang. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Ah, Cucumber Clan. Ah, uh, not Clan. Gang. That sounds even less threatening. Okay. Anything here? Just a bunch of files. Okay. There's a fingerprint book here. Mm hmm. Okay. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Okay, so we need that for Fingertron 3000. Just a bunch of files. Okay, we're done with those. Anything else? How about here? Just a bunch of files. Just a, just a bunch of files. Okay, nothing. Ah, there's a speck of dust. Fuck yes, pick it up. Okay, so I, I think that we are done with the office and the uh, police station for now. And in the next episode, let's go out to town and talk to the locals of Timpleweed Park and try to learn more about the, well, the town, the locals and, and the party and this case in general. So, until next time. Thank you for watching and see you next time for more Timpleweed Park.